Today I'm going to show how to adjust the contrast in a photograph using an adjustment layer in Photoshop CS5. With the image open on the desktop, select the Layers palette um, uh, from your menu. If the Layers palette isn't available in the palette well over here on the right, you can always bring it up by going to Window, scrolling down to Layer and clicking it. And that should bring up this particular palette here. As you'll see, the background image here relates to the image on the desktop. To bring up an adjustment layer in Photoshop, you can do it one of two ways. Firstly, you can go to Layer in the main menu, come down to New Adjustment Layer, and come across to Levels. Or, you can equally go to the Layers palette itself, and at the bottom there is a number of icons. The one that relates to adjustment layers is a circle split in two, one half black and one half white. Clicking on it will bring up the same palette and we can come up to Levels and click it. This is the Levels um, dialog box and the first thing that we're going to notice here is there is the Levels histogram. This particular diagram relates to the distribution of shadow and highlight and midtone areas in the image itself. If we're looking at, we say, the image in, the in terms of shadows and highlights, we can see that the, that the more space or the more area designated to black means that there's more pixels in that space. On the left-hand side here, we'll see, for example, in the area of shadows, the amount of pixels is very, very little, uh, denoted by this rather flat area here on the left-hand side. Similarly, on the right-hand side, you'll see that the area of highlights is, is similarly flat. And both of these areas here correspond visually to the image itself on screen. We'd notice that there is very, very little, very, very black area, areas. And similarly, there's very little, very white areas or, or highlights. Most of the pixels in the picture are uh, bunched together in this large area here, this mountain shape, which we would designate as the mid-tone area. In order to boost, perhaps, the shadow area in our picture, it's a simple thing is normally to drag the um, shadow slider, the black slider, in towards the beginning of the mountain like so. And you'll see on screen that the dark areas of the picture have immediately darkened. Similarly, if there was very, very little white, you can brighten up the, the highlight areas of the, pixels, uh, of the picture by dragging the, the highlight slider in uh, to the left like so. So this um, adjustment will boost the shadows and similarly boost the highlights. It's never a good idea to bring the shadow or highlight sli sliders too far in any one direction. For example, bringing it in on top of um, the mountain itself will in turn erase all the pixel information behind it. So it's a good idea just to keep it out here like so, just at the very, very edge. If there needs to be any additional amending to the, the tonal variation of the picture, it can be always done on the gamma slider. For example, dragging the gamma or the mid-tone slider to the left will brighten and similarly darken like so. I like uh, my picture to be fairly dark, particularly in the background, so I'm going to leave my gamma slider slightly to the right like so. To look at the difference between uh, the before and after adjustment, you can use the icon on the bottom here reflective of the eye. This is the visibility icon. By clicking on it, it will show you beforehand, and then by clicking it, it will show you after. And you can see that that subtle adjustment has made a fairly big um, change to my image. Again, to see how that looks like in relation to the layers palette, if I click again on layers, so the click, click, clicking on the layers tab here, You'll see that the adjustment that I have just made comes in on top of the background layer. And this is the icon here for adjustment layer levels. I can go back and uh, amend that adjustment at any particular time in the editing process. This is the beauty of having an adjustment layer. By clicking on it, it'll take me back directly to the um, the layers dialog, sorry, the levels dialog box. And I can make additional amendments should I wish to do so at any time. So it's very, very handy to do it this way. On the right-hand side of the uh, levels icon, we have got this white rectangular here, and this is called a layer mask. I'm going to be dealing with this in a follow-on tutorial.
But generally speaking, that's how we would make an adjustment layer, adjusting the levels on this particular photograph in a very simple way. Come back for the next tutorial session where we're going to talk about layer masks.